Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. I never thought I'd actually get to this point. It's uh, not something that really fits in with my usual character, I guess. I'm not big into social media. Anyone who knows me can confirm that I'm not a big fan. I, 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 I like my privacy. I tend to kind of stick to myself. I, I think society has become quite scary, especially in 2022 with cancel culture and everything else involved with putting your feelings out online. I think it really welcomes some some hate comments and, and judgment, but I feel like I need to do this. I feel like I'm a person who's been holding back too much in my life. As I've said, this is very against character for me. And so that's why I should do it, I believe. I think that's kind of my, my new step, the next step that I need to do to you know kind of keep growing as an individual i think it's all about self-growth and and that's kind of what pushed me to make the channel but more than that i also feel like i have certain things that i can add certain things of value that some people might find useful to listen to um, and that's also the intention of the channel i think that i don't want to just be uploading videos for the sake of it i i'm a third year medical student studying in hungary and I've got a, a pretty unique backstory as to how I got here. I think it's a, it's a journey that can definitely provide me with certain video ideas because I've had experiences and lots of different uh, things happen to me that have helped to give me tools that I use in my life and can give me kind of the ability to forward some of those to you guys and give some tips and advice. I am from South Africa originally. I was born there and did my full schooling in South Africa. And I then decided I wanted to do medicine, which is not an easy decision to make as everyone knows that it's very challenging to get in, let alone study medicine. But I was determined. I could not study in South Africa for reasons we won't discuss in this video, but my main goal was to go to Netherlands. This was what I was aiming towards. All my eggs were in that basket, which I really regret now. If I could go back and change that, I would. So if there are any prospective medical students, I would highly recommend that you do not put all your eggs in one basket. You need to look at as many options as possible, as many routes as possible. Even if you have one plan in one university, one dream university, it's very rare to get into your number one choice. So make sure that you've, you've looked into different options. And I would really advise that you look abroad as well. Uh, I think a huge audience I would like to try and get through towards is American prospective medical students because medical school in America is extremely expensive. And I don't think a lot of medical or a lot of students who want to study medicine consider studying abroad um, when they're in America. They just kind of want to stay and be comfortable. But I think maybe some of the videos I, I make can enlighten some people as to the other options that are out there because I applied for the Netherlands and I got rejected. I was distraught. I had no idea what I was going to do because this was the, the thing I was aiming towards. And the reason behind it was so weird as well. I got an email. Basically, I got an original acceptance email. Their system is very weird. They send you an acceptance email and then in that email, they kind of give you all these links to different material that you have to go through. They want to see your ability to summarize. So your ability to digest the material and give your own perspective on it. They also give you this large amount of material that you have to study for a written exam and an oral entrance interview. And once you go through all of this stuff, you go over to the Netherlands for, I think, a weekend, if I remember correctly. And you have various exams and tests. And then they'll rank all the students after that. And the top, however many, will get into the universities. So it's a very competitive system. But basically, I received an email while I was in this preparation phase. I was kind of going through all the work and getting myself prepared. I received an email from the head of the university, basically stating that my mathematics in South Africa was not equivalent to the mathematics in the Netherlands schooling system. Something along these lines, which was a shock to me. I, I couldn't really believe it. I, I, I was, I kind of at the time felt a bit hard done by because I felt like it was unfair that I couldn't even go over there to prove myself. But it was one of those things and I didn't want to give up. So I sent him an email and I said, listen, is there anything I can do to bridge this gap? 
what can I do to, to do that? I really want this. And he came back to me and said, look, try and do an advanced mathematics course or try do a, a year in a higher educational facility. So I said, okay, fine, I will try and figure it out. I had no idea what I was going to do. As I said, all my eggs were in that basket. I was out of options. And I was just sitting there like, what am I? I was researching. I was looking into countries I didn't even know existed. And eventually I actually decided, let me go to the US. Let me just study pre-med in the US, do this as a bit of a bridging course, and then I'll reapply to the Netherlands. That was my aim. So I, I looked into different universities and I found a small little university in Utah that was reasonably affordable for US standards still hurt the wallet like crazy but it was kind of within reach so I said look let me go over there I went on my first long journey a long flight without any family members or friends it was a long 24-hour journey from Johannesburg in South Africa to Vegas and I, I kind of landed and felt like an ant in this humongous city and I was in a completely different place with a different culture and there I was going to Utah to, to try and study pre-med and figure it all out because obviously it wasn't laid out for me. I had no idea what was going to happen. And um, after the first semester, I got everything I needed sorted for the application process. I reapplied for the Netherlands and I got rejected again. And not for the same reason as well. It was for some other reason. Apparently now my physics was not equivalent, which was not originally disclosed to me beforehand. Originally the mathematics was an issue and I reapplied and then the physics was an issue. So at this point, I'm just sitting there like, what on earth do I do? I mean, it's obviously written in the stars that the Netherlands is not going to work out. It's just not going to happen for me. And the US, even though I was over there, was not sustainable long term. I mean, the price was obscene. And that was just for pre-med in Utah. If I wanted to study four years med after the pre-med, it would have been impossible. So I was there like, what, what do I do? But luckily, I made... The, the choice to go over to the US and I, I took the leap of faith and went even though I wasn't sure what would happen because while I was over there I was able to network you know I was able to socialize with people from all around the world and I ended up meeting a, a friend of mine and he enlightened me to the fact that Hungary offers medics medicine in English or at least he thought they did so he told me to look into that and I was very grateful because for some reason I didn't think of Hungary when I was doing my original applications. So I ran to the library at, uh, at Southern Utah University. I sat down. I was that weirdo just there typing university applications whilst in university. But uh, I was determined. I had to try and find a way to get into medical school because this is what I wanted to do. And I got my, I got my lucky break. Finally, I got into the University of Pech in Hungary, which is where I currently am. And as I mentioned, I'm in third year, so it all worked out. It uh, took a lot of perseverance. I think a lot of people might have felt very disheartened and, and felt like giving up after that, that second rejection from the Netherlands. But I, I knew there had to be another route and I've ended up here. Uh, I think I've got quite a lot to, to add um, from this whole journey that I, I want to share in upcoming videos. I think I can definitely talk about my experiences studying abroad, traveling by yourself for the first time, trying to assimilate with different cultures. And uh, obviously, I plan on making some medical related videos as well. The system here is extremely tough in Hungary. It's very foreign to what I'm used to. In South Africa, all of our exams are written exams. And over here, the large majority are oral exams, which I found very strange to adjust to at, at first. Because I think we kind of get trained in our schooling system to think while we write. And you have the ability to cross out your answer and rewrite it if it's wrong. Over here, they ask you a question and the professor just looks at you like this. And if you don't know the answer, the panic just rises. And you go, oh my word, I do not know the answer. Okay, okay, what do I do? And it's a very, very strange phenomenon to adjust to, I won't lie. Uh, I think with time I've got better at it, but... It's still, it's still something I'm working on. And I, I also plan to make some videos on that. I think it's, it's helped me with my communication skills to, to be in an oral setting as an exam. I think it's uh, something that is actually quite important and I'm grateful for it now. 
even though at first I was like, this is horrible. Why can't I have a written exam? This is ridiculous. But um, yeah, so I definitely plan on making some medical related videos as well, as I've mentioned. I think I can make videos on, on more catered towards the system over here and how I've studied and how I've got through everything. But I definitely think people in different systems all around the world can definitely take something out of the videos I plan on making. Not just medical students as well. I think even students who are studying other degrees just some of the tips that I have in terms of memory retention and and different practices I put into place that I think really helps me to solidify the information that I learned. So this is kind of the plan for the channel. This is my original introductory summary type video. Nothing too serious, just a little sit down, a little chat, test the waters. And uh, as I said, I still cannot believe I'm uploading, but uh, I just got to do it. So... Let me know if you guys are excited about what, I, what I've said. I know this probably won't get to a lot of people, if any. It's my first video. If it does uh, better than I expect, then thank you, algorithm. You're doing bits for me on the first video. But um, yeah, I, I hope that some of you guys can, can gain something from this. So if you want to, to hear more, then subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos. Hit, hit a like. Give me a little comment. Tell me if, there, if there's any particular video that you look forward to or any video that you would, would like. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm excited. Cool. Cheers.